On Friday, February 22nd, the Jupiter Police Department gave us case filing packets stemming from their prostitution sting. After review by our intake prosecutors, we are charging 25 individuals with soliciting another to commit prostitution, pursuant to sections 796.072F and 5A1 of the Florida statutes. This charge is a first degree misdemeanor, punishable by up to one year in jail, a mandatory $5,000 fine, 100 hours of community service, and a class on the dangers of prostitution and human trafficking. We also expect to receive filing packets for the two women who have been arrested by the Jupiter Police Department for, among other things, deriving support from the proceeds of prostitution, which is a second degree felony. All defendants are presumed innocent at this point. The charges begin the court process with local defendants being mailed a summons to appear in court. Out of county defendants will have a capius issued, which is essentially a low level warrant and will have to either surrender or have an attorney contact law enforcement to satisfy the warrant. The clerk's office will publicly release court dates for those receiving a summons, and the names of all the defendants will be released. And actually, they have been released already. The names of all defendants already have been released by the Jupiter Police Department. I'd like to thank the men and women of the Jupiter Police Department for their professionalism and diligence in investigating these cases. It's our ongoing partnership with local law enforcement that helps keep our community safe. You can tell a lot about our community by the way it treats its most vulnerable individuals, and that includes victims of human trafficking, which is modern day slavery. Human trafficking is the business of stealing someone's freedom for profit, including, it can happen anywhere, including in the peaceful community of Jupiter, Florida. In 2017, our office joined with the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office and the FBI to help start a human trafficking task force. Uh, we are pleased with our progress, but we realize there's a lot more to do. These cases aren't about any one defendant or any group of defendants. The larger picture which we must all confront is the cold reality that many prostitutes in cases like this are themselves victims, often lured into this country with promises of a better life only to be forced to live and work in a sweatshop or a brothel performing sex acts for strangers. Human trafficking is built on force, fraud, or coercion. It is evil in our midst. It is also fueled by the demand side, demands from otherwise law-abiding citizens who are not aware or don't want to be aware about those being exploited. Human trafficking often occurs in plain sight, which is why I'm hopeful that these cases will encourage people to say something if they see something, and for victims of this unreported crime to gain the courage to let their voices be heard. I think that law enforcement has done an excellent job. They've been very professional and very thorough and also, they've helped steer the conversation away from any one particular defendant, from any group of defendants, towards the evil of human trafficking. It's about time the country has a real conversation about human trafficking, which is modern-day slavery in our midst. This is not about lonely old men or victimless crimes. This is about enabling a, a network of criminals to traffic women into our country for forced labor and sex. Well, it meant that there were two different occurrences uh, in which he's being charged. It, it's, it's just what it is that instead of one charge or two, there are two counts. And so he faces two separate counts and have to satisfy those counts uh, with a plea and move on from there. It could. It could.